Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna. If you're not new here, welcome back. So in today's video, we are in my basement. So basement lining. Anyway, so we are in my bathroom because I'm going to go along. I'm going to show you guys my shower routine. We'll talk about my shower routine and show you what we did down here that I think well, that is very helpful and um, talk about like what we have to do. Okay, so let's get into this video. So, I can only do showers um, during the spring and summer months because I do live in Michigan and it does snow for a lot of the years and I have to go um, outside with my other chair to see or to get down here because we have no elevator. Yeah, looking back, we would have had an elevator, but <laughs> yeah, next, for the next house. Um, so I can only do showers spring and summer. All the rest are bath. bath. So, the main reason I wanted to do this video was because I wanted to show how we have to modify my shower chair. And how we, what we usually do is I bring my other wheelchair in here, my motorized one, and I have to transfer into this chair. And then my mom, my mom has to undress me and do a bunch of other things. Like, Give me adjusted and you can see that I have um, therapy bands on the sides to help my because you can see how close my my leg is to the the therapy band um, so my mom was trying to get my my legs to not do what it usually does and this, this one doesn't fix all the solution. So, we still have, we're trying to figure out how to modify it the best. For honest mental state, or mental stability, I'm not or for my own security, I have to loop my arm around here to be um, comfortable, or I have just figured out to like literally like last time I was in the shower, I used this instead of looping my arm so that it doesn't get hurt. I know. Uh, now saying that loud, I feel like I feel like a some like a crazy person. <laughs> okay, so yeah, because my arm would always get red after the shower, like it is now. <laughs> um. But now we're, we're going to bring you, we, I'm going to also include a, a picture of my other wheelchair to show you guys what works for me and what I need for support. So to modify this chair, we have two, this cushion um, for my hips. We had another one um, for my back. And it helped a little bit, but I still felt like I was being pushed forward, and I um yeah, I was being pushed forward. So I think we're not gonna do that anymore. We also thought of pool noodles or the hip guides, but I'm not I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do. So let me know if you have any suggestions. Cause you you can see like how my posture not very good, and like this wheelchair just or the shower chair is just too big for me. The world is not meant for petite people. I mean, I'm noticed. So onto the bench, so so that if I did come independent and my mom would just have to sit and help me a little bit. Um, yeah, and we do not chain my legs in here. I don't know if this is important to somebody, so I'm going to just include it. 
Um, we do not trim my legs. It would just kind of be a little hard. I can include the video that I do show you how we trim my legs most of the time. Um, and the cards up, up above, if that is interesting for you. And also, I will include my best video in, um, in a card as well, to, so you guys can compare and contrast, or can figure out what's best for you. Anyway, back to the video instead of um, plugging my channel. So, my mom, my parents got an adjustable shower head so that a wheelchair or like we can adjust where the water goes or like if somebody were to stand up in the shower they can that can be adjusted or if I were to sit down like my it could easily be adjustable so what I do is I have the shower head stay stationary while, while I wash my hair out because I don't like water in my face and I've always hated showers going up. Like, I did not like showers at all. I'm, I'm adjusting to them. Um, no, but... Um... Yeah. So I have... I have it stay stationary and then I move my head around for like... Getting the conditioner and the shampoo out. So that, bring, that brings up the point where I wish I had a shower upstairs. Because one, the showers are quicker for us to do. Um, two, that way I don't get out of practice. Because when spring comes, or like, it's like, for me it feels like, um, the sh like I forget like how to help myself like um or how to adjust it for myself by the time that um spring comes around again and um when summer or when summer ends um I'm like see you again next summer and then I forget how to like, um how to what's the word kind of like I forget how adjust again. I have to adjust so it's like every season I have to adjust myself back to the shower like so it's or not every season but like every thing or every summer season I have to go through the adjustment period again so that's another thing that, that I would do differently right that brings me to the point where um, we do have bar, where I'm supposed to have bars in here for me to be most independent and for me to move myself. And we do have them. I just, we haven't put them up yet. Hmm. <laughs> so, which is okay. Well, I mean, it's not okay, but like, I'm not there yet. So, or like, I'm not that independent. So, I'm working on it though. Um, so, yeah, it's good. And now to the sink. So, what we learned throughout the years is that the side, um, the side faucet is the best way to go because then I can reach it myself. Um, oh, and then also, my mom did like the, we also did, um, instead of cabinets, cause we have cabinets upstairs in my bathroom. Instead of cabinets, we just did legs. Cause I've learned that that way, that's another part of my, for my wheelchair to clear it. Um, and also I, we do have a little bit of a lip, but my, for the most part, my joystick can go over it or I have to move out of the way the way and stuff like that. So yeah, with that being said, so let's talk about my shower routine. 
So usually somebody has to transfer me into the chair. Um, well, first they turn on the heat lamp or the heater, which is over there because it's for um, tight. We do that because my muscles are so tight. Um, but anyway, so we shut the door and like all that. Transfer me into it and my mom has to lift me into the to the shower or with this tri trip because of the lip. Well first I get the water just to whatever I like and like figure that out when I Then we do my body first and then we do my washing of the face and we usually do washing of the face. Second, because we have, I have to have it with a wash cloth instead of directly in my face because again, I don't like the shower water and it's a little weird. So anyway, so we do, we do the shampooing last, just so um that's how we always run my mask. And yeah, and it does take the body. We do more. The body takes the longest because the one that's the bigger part of me, too. Um, there's like to reach all my body parts, like my my legs and anyways. And I do have to like say this shower chair does have a hole. Yeah, it's almost like a toilet seat. So I'm sitting like almost at like a toilet seat. So like somebody could like go like bend down and get to the my bottom or like and clean my bottom off instead of um instead of not doing it. But the the sad part is the the um the hip guides don't allow you to use that part of it. Does that make sense? Because they're black and it doesn't have like a thing for the hole to go through. So that's the unfortunate part of that. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you next time. And remember to keep on rolling. Bye.